How's it going guys? My name is Zach with The Movie Castle and today we're going to be taking a look at Dollar Tree's desktop hockey game. It says goal here on the front. I don't know if that's the title of the game or just a graphic. I'm, I'm thinking that's just graphic design here. Uh, but yeah, Dollar Tree's $1 desktop hockey game. I think it's really fun to on the channel every now and then take a moment to you know look at something fun just kinda a goof off and do something uh, something fun I reviewed other Dollar Tree games in the past in the past I did this uh, one dollar bingo set with the uh, the cage and I also did this uh, one dollar uh, monkey balance game you get this little tree and you stack the monkeys on it both of which are pretty fun, and I don't just cover everything, but whenever I see something that really catches my eye and I think, oh, that looks like a fun thing, I might review it. You know, just have a, a fun day every once in a while. And today we're going to take a look at this desktop hockey from Dollar Tree. So the package is this really minimal design, and I think it's cool but at the same time, it doesn't give you any idea. I mean, maybe a little bit of an idea what the game looks like, but there's uh, no photo or anything, so you kind of have to guess what's in it. Um, eight and up, desktop hockey goal, a picture of the player, the uh, the red little silhouette there, uh, the figure. Um, and if you look at the bottom, includes one hockey rink, one goal net, one player, one server, and three pucks. And flip it to the back, and underneath the illustration of said three pucks, uh, directions. Uh, one, install the goal net, player, and server onto the hockey rink. Two, toss a coin to decide who goes first. Three, the first player places the puck on the server and shoots. Four, when a goal is scored, the opposing player serves next. So, you shoot until you make a goal, and then you switch, and the other guy gets to gets to shoot. Now, it doesn't say how, like, points are scored, or how one guy wins. Like, you know, how, how do you know who's doing better? Is it, I'm guessing it's like golf, where it's number of shots uh, before someone makes the goal so if it takes you like you know three shots before you make a goal you get three points and you're trying for less points I'm guessing that's what it is but also how many rounds do you go I guess you just decide that beforehand like hey we're gonna we're gonna do three rounds the people who scored the three goals in the least number of time they they become the winner I'm not sure it doesn't doesn't specify how exactly you score points how exactly you win, how many rounds you do. But overall, we get the gist, you know. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, open this thing up and uh, see what we get inside. Get everything in a little baggie. And everything in the game is right there. A cooler design than I might have expected. Uh, I thought from the uh, box that it would be something a little simpler, uh, more minimal or something like just a plastic player in a net or something like that. Let's go ahead and slide everything out carefully so we don't drop anything. Um, and we have some pieces here so let's get stuff out. So the first piece is this plastic rink piece with a little border around it to keep things from sliding away and rolling off the table and getting lost. There's the bottom. And it's got a cardboard graphic which admittedly does pop up kind of a bit. I think the goal net and player will hold it down some but it'll probably still pop up a little bit. But then again, uh, the server piece appears to be a little off the ground too so we get this uh, next piece there's your your net that goes in the back and player he's uh, got a sticker on him a double-sided graphic and his hockey uh, stick comes to here in the graphic 
it really goes to down here and uh he has his own puck and i have my puck hmm uh just a a weird little thing with uh, the art there I, I don't mean to be weird about it uh, and then here's the serving device you uh flick it back here or i guess you could hold it down here and there it goes that's your uh, your hockey stick oh oh no oh okay there you go so yeah that's your uh your hockey stick there got a little piece to uh put it in and it goes at the uh, other side and then you have your hockey puck you get three of these things one two three three hockey pucks to uh to score into the goal there so that's cool let's put those aside and let's try to assemble this all right tilt you guys down and let's put the pieces in their places so this goes on the back you kind of gotta get it even so it slides in the holes there we go down and you can see on the other side the little red holes going in their places. A cool big net to make sure if it goes really high it'll catch everything. So nice big square net. I do like that. And this guy goes in this hole. There you go. And I guess whenever you're defending you choose to flip him left or right. And then this goes in here. Click. All right, so we're all set up. We got a, uh, we got hockey going. All right, let's see how uh, how easy it is to score a goal here. Zoom you guys in, maybe a little farther out, and let's put a puck on here and flick it in. Oh, oh, I pushed the goalie aside. Hey made a goal first shot that's that's good I, I I'm, I'm a natural of this game I'm an ace oh does that count if it came back out again yeah so you can flick this thing um it's hard to uh say how much force you're gonna put behind it I guess you know I I, I don't know they pitch this as a competitive game I really see it as more something you just uh mess around with when you're bored you know um i mean i don't know how much strategy it's like if you're defending it's like oh my strategy is i get to pick whether my goalkeeper is facing left or right there and if you're here it's like okay uh i guess if he's over there maybe i slide my thing down to the left and then how much force do i put in i i guess if you really played with this a long time you could get yeah really good at aiming because yeah they're okay the goalie did his job there um let's see it's you know it's force also aim i guess Maybe if i put it here it'll bounce off the wall uh didn't make it in okay i went from being really good to this game to being really bad so this graphic it does bubble up here and i do feel like i need to hold it down when I pull back, because see, you know, if I do that, then the game starts to, you know, slide away from me. So I do want to hold it down, and my inclination is to put my fingers here, which blocks the goal and makes it harder for me. So, yeah, having a light weight is kind of a non-beneficial here. So I guess you shoot it like this. And that went past the player, but the goal line is actually behind the player. I'm just going to say that counted because then that uh, makes the video go off with a, a bigger win. Okay, okay, I'll do one more. I'll just, I think if I just do enough force, I can plow it into the, oh. Okay. A little to the right. Enough force, and we, ah, I want to, want to score a goal before I end the video. Ah, okay. Okay, I, I critiqued the game, and now the game is going harder on me. Okay. One one more goal and I end the and I can end the video. Oh my gosh, it doesn't want the video to end. Ah man, it was so easy at first. Oh gee. Okay, now I just now I just look like an idiot. Okay. Don't tell anyone I'm gonna make this a little easier on me. 
flip the goalie the other way. So now we know. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Well. I could see how if you're playing multiple players now, one guy could rack up a ton of points just not doing one goal right. Okay. That hit the back of the net. I did a goal. We're good. We're good. <laughs> All right. So that's Dollar Tree's $1 hockey game. Um, overall, I'd say more something to sit on your desk and amuse yourself every now and then. Uh, I don't know how many people would, you know, get out multiple players and play this super seriously as a game. But overall, a fun thing to fiddle around with. And it does look a lot cooler than I thought. That cool retro gaming feel. Um, little plastic players in a little arena. I do love the miniature aspect of it all. I mean, that's my hand right there. So you can tell about how, how big this is. Overall, pretty fun. Nothing to, you know, go crazy over. But as with a lot of these Dollar Tree things, it's only a dollar. So... <laughs> Pretty fun to mess around with something like this for just a buck, but uh, if I want to put it back in the box, I do have to take it apart, which, oh, well, I guess that's just a thing. Anyway, um, to everyone who's watched so far, thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, sitting here and just watching me fiddle around with a weird little hockey game I found at Dollar Tree. Uh, so to everyone who's watched so far, thank you for watching. To everyone who's liked and subscribed, Thank you, you are really helping the channel out. Um, I do a fun game like this every now and then. Other than this, I primarily review movies on this channel. Um, I do a lot of uh, scary movies, so if that sounds like something you're interested in, I'd recommend uh, sticking around. Um, I'll put a relevant playlist on the bottom. That'll be my uh, Toys and Games playlist, so if you want to see more stuff like this, if you want to see the, the Dollar Tree Bingo game or the Dollar Tree Monkey game, uh, monkey ba balance monkey game uh, both of those are in there as well anyway have a good day i'll see you guys again very very soon and the toys and games playlist a relevant playlist at the bottom have a good day